Hi, Eagle fans. I hope everybody is doing well out there, in particular uh, those that are in some really tough hot spots. Uh, thankfully, down here in Florida, we haven't been hit as hard as some other places in the country, but we're still playing it safe. Uh, we're working remotely in many instances, very few uh, student athletes uh, in our midst, but uh, we're all looking toward the future. Uh, right now, uh, although uh, we aren't doing anything athletically, it's still been a very busy time for us. Hopefully, many of you have been following us through our either our website or through our, our email mailings, but um, if you haven't, uh, just recently we were very proud that we had 50 of our student athletes graduated on Sunday with the university's virtual graduation. Uh, certainly not what anybody wanted, but our university administration, Dr. Martin and everyone, I think did a wonderful job making the best of uh, a very tough uh, scenario. We are also in a situation where we're finishing up the year with uh, a lot of grad honors that we provide our student athletes. We're gonna hold off on quite a few, uh, perhaps and try to celebrate with our student athletes back in the fall, uh, but wanted to make sure our capstone uh, honor, which is our Eagle Scholar Athlete Award uh, was given out. Uh, as hopefully many of you followed over the course of this uh, recent times, we highlighted each of those four outstanding women, uh, starting with uh, Carrie Jewett Giles, our local product uh, from here in Fort Myers, who had had a phenomenal year this year, but uh, her two years uh, playing in the green and blue were like a lot of people playing for four for our women's basketball nationally ranked team that finished 24th. Uh, we also had two tremendous women's soccer players and Evie Papadinova, our first ever All-American, both academically and on the field, where she was a two-time uh, All-American athletically uh, in our program. And uh, Lindsey Patton, just a stalwart on our defensive line, the defensive player of the year this year uh, for the A-Sun, a four-time all-conference performer. Uh, and if you followed and saw her overall elements, you'd see why she was a finalist as well. And then our final individual in our this year, our 2020 recipient, uh, Amanda Carroll, uh, a young woman who personifies everything you need in a student athlete from leadership, uh, being the president of our Eagles Council for two years, the president of the ASUN, uh, SAC her last year before she joined the NCA as a representative for the ASUN student athletes and did a wonderful job. Uh, not to mention what she does as a student. She graduated uh, in her fourth year. Last year, had a redshirt year, came back and wound up uh, working Working on her masters this year, which we look forward to her finishing in the near future. And then on the court, both in the sand and uh, on the hard floor here on the Lico Arena, just had a phenomenal career, uh, broke the record for kills amongst other successes she had leading her team to the second round of the NCAA tournament last year. So four terrific women uh, in a group that uh, we were very hard picked to pick one, uh, but very proud of all four of them. Most recently, uh, hopefully many of you read about the fact that we're gonna start our first ever Athletics Hall of Fame. Uh, a, a situation that we feel the timing is right, uh, an opportunity to celebrate some just wonderful individuals who've worn the green and blue. Uh, we're gonna start off with hopefully seeing Andy Enfield and the USC Trojans here in November uh, and being able to use that opportunity uh, to honor the 2012-13 Dunk City team uh, that not only had an historic run to the Sweet 16 and the only 15 seed that's still ever done it, uh, but more importantly, what that team did transformationally for our entire university uh, that we're still benefiting from. So uh, we look forward to that. And then in turn, over the next several months, we'll have our committee work to make a very difficult decision on who the first five individuals will be uh, to go into the Hall of Fame. Uh, as we go further into different years, uh, every year, I think, as we have more and more individuals, it will be out the 10-year minimum required uh, that will make it harder and harder for that committee uh, to make those difficult choices. Uh, lastly, we're in a position where we're moving into uh, just trying to figure out what the future holds. Every day seems to be different. Uh, we really don't know ourselves uh, where things are. It's going to start with, for sure, making sure the university is safe uh, for students to come back and then student athletes fitting within that population. So over the course of the next several weeks and months, we'll be trying to just figure out where that puts us into athletics. Uh, we've been working with our peers, both at the ASUN and our non-conference opponents, to try to determine what types of things are realistic. Uh, the fall sports may Maybe as difficult as it was when we ended the spring. Uh, really hope that we'll see that come to fruition in August and they'll be back here practicing like normal. Um, but we're prepared for the potential of having to cut schedules, maybe not start uh, until after Labor Day or whenever it may be. Maybe we'll just play a sun schedules and be in a position where we'll work toward getting uh, a champion and get into what we hope will be the NCAA normal tournament process. Uh, but still too early for a lot of that. Uh, that
that lends itself into, you know, where will basketball fit? Uh, again, we open up with USC, we hope, and uh, look forward to starting a process on July 1st, waiting a couple of months from normal in terms of our renewals for season tickets, Eagles Club memberships, and so forth. So uh, we're working uh, behind the scenes to get that information out. We appreciate it that some people have asked us, you know, where are we on that? Because we want to make sure we're ready for next year. So it's just all about safety at this particular juncture, uh, trying to make the right decisions, working within it. It's going to be a very difficult budget year, uh, but hopefully we are prepared in some ways to handle um, initial elements. Uh, if we don't have a basketball season, that would be very difficult for anybody to understand where the revenue will be uh, to handle things, but uh, we're going to work toward making sure we're prepared as best as possible. If you have any questions, uh, we'd certainly be happy to answer them. Uh, if you want to, my email is here, and feel free to reach out to me. Uh, we're hopefully getting to the point that we can start to see each other more in person, uh, but just stay safe out there. Uh, understand that this is a short-term situation, and we look forward uh, to looking at everybody come this time next year where it's all behind us, and we can celebrate a lot of activities that occurred over the course of the 2021 uh, season. Take care, God bless, and wings up.